Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's Donghua uh, Friday Talks. Uh, I'm Francis. Together with my colleague, Ms. Sylvia, today we are sharing the information about applying for postgraduate programs and scholarships at Donghua University. Okay, this is the second time in this month we have a webinar on the same topic. I will spend approximately 20 minutes discussing scholarships and providing a brief introduction to Donghua University. Ms. Sylvia will cover the detailed application guide. Uh, we hope that uh, you listen to our presentation first carefully, and then during the Q&A, you can raise your questions in the chat room. So yesterday, I asked chat GPT a question. How can I get a scholarship to study in China? ChatGPT replied, applying for a scholarship to study in China typically involves the following steps. Here on the slide are the answers. I want to emphasize that these steps align with what one should follow. So based on our years of experience as admissions officer, we find that prospective students often send their inquiries in a similar manner. So today, I will supplement ChatGPT's insights with some key information and emphasize the underlying logic of scholarship application that you must be aware of. So of course, the context of our presentation today is applying to study postgraduate programs, that is master's or doctoral programs at Donghua University. First, there are three points about scholarships that we need you to understand. These points are not simple information readily available online. It involves the underlying logic of scholarship application. It requires a thorough understanding. First, the key step is submitting the application to the university and secure admission to it. So indeed, uh, in ChatGPT's response, only the first and fourth steps are crucial. In the first step, uh, it suggests you to begin by choosing a study program that aligns with your academic and career goals. The good news is that entrance scholarships is applicable if you apply to study any master's or doctor's program at Donghua University. The fourth step, secure admission to the university, is the most crucial step. The success of this step depends largely on the quality of your application. So here is a concept, entrance scholarships. Entrance scholarships means the scholarships that are applicable for prospective student in order to support his or her entire study duration. So the end, uh, entrance scholarships available for master's or doctoral students at Donghua University are provided by Chinese government. We call it CDS, Chinese Government Scholarship, and the Shanghai Municipal Government we call it SGS, Shanghai Government Scholarship. They both require applicants to first secure admission to the university. In particular, the Chinese Government Scholarship requires applicants to upload the pre-admission letter issued by the university during the scholarship application process. The Shanghai Municipal Government Scholarship, SGS, does not have this requirement, but only students admitted to the university has the possibility of being recommended for the scholarship review. Therefore, you must be aware that submitting the application according to the university's requirements, show your excellent academic, communication, and organizational skills is so important. Here is another uh, reminder or warning. If you want to receive a scholarship, 
do not submit your application to a university through any agencies. You need to do it all by yourself and participate the whole process yourself. The second, why do you, uh, why you do not need to focus too much on how to apply for a scholarship? Because the requirements of application qualification and application materials put forward by the scholarship institutions have been included in the requirements put forward by Donghua University. That means while our uh, automations officers help optimize the application materials you submit to Donghua, we are also helping you refine the application materials you will submit to the scholarship website in the future. So after submitting your application online to Donghua University, do check your email frequently pay attention to the feedback from the university and promptly cooperate when being asked to supplement or resubmit some materials. Because you need to know that the review of scholarship applications in the future is more selective. So you will face greater competition. To stand out in that review and secure a scholarship, the submission of your application materials is so important, but there on the scholarship online application system, no one will help you and no one will answer any questions. That is the second point. The third point, later you will find we have two scholarship application deadlines. One is February 28th, another is April 15th. So many students want to know what is the difference between these two application deadlines? So these application deadlines mean that if you complete the application by February 28th, you will have enough time to apply for CDS high-level postgraduate scholarship. Our university generally propping uh, generally process the postgraduate post applications before the end of February. In mid-March, applicants will receive the pre-admission letters from the university. So please note that uh, not everyone will be admitted by the university, will not, uh, pre will not receive this pre-admission letter. And at that time, you should follow the university's instruction to secure to complete your submission on scholarship online application system with this pre-admission letter on time. So if you failed to complete the application before February 28th, you basically will miss the CDS high-level postgraduate scholarship chance. However, if your application is complete between the beginning of March to April 15th, you will have chance to compete for CDS Silk Road Scholarship, which supports postgraduate study, and SDS Scholarship, which support undergraduate master's and doctoral study. So if your application is submitted after April 15th, you will have no chance of getting any scholarship because your application will automatically enter the self-funded review process. Here, uh, you need to note that the CGS we mentioned above are CGS category type B. If you are applying for CGS category type A through the Chinese embassies or consulate in your home country, the deadline will be determined by them, not our university. So that's all for the part we need you to understand. Now we go to the part you concerned. The general information is included in this table you will see that uh, the entry scholarships, there are two types. One is Chinese CDS, another SGS. So in SGS, we have two different categories. I have mentioned just now, K 
category uh, type A, you need to send your uh, inform you send your application to the dispatching department of the applicant's home countries. So only uh, CDS category type B is uh, to send the uh, applications directly to Donghua University and to wait for Donghua University's review. We have two uh, kinds of programs under type B. One is high level postgraduate programs. The application deadline is February 28th. And the other uh, is, for example, is SOCRO program. The deadline is April 15th. So both these programs will support the um, uh, those students who want to uh, learn, uh, who want to study in the master's and doctoral uh, period. So there is our full scholarship and partial scholarship. Uh, I will I will explain it later. So for SGS Shanghai Government Scholarship, uh, we support the uh, future undergraduate study, master's, and doctoral study. So there's also full scholarship and partial scholarship. Please pay attention that for SGS, there's no, uh, not so many programs. There's only one scholar, SGS, uh, one scholarship. So it, there, the types of the scholarship is type A and type B. Type A is full scholarship. Type B means we support the students with a partial scholarship. So here is uh, about the full scholarship. The full scholarship of both CGS and SGS covers for the whole uh, program duration the following items. A waiver of tuition fees, uh, a waiver of comprehensive medical insurance, uh, a waiver of on-campus dorm fee, and uh, the students will receive the month uh, stipend provided by uh, CGS, uh, by the government. For the master students, uh, the month stipend is 3,000 RMB. And for the doctoral students, we'll receive uh, 3,500 RMB each month. And for the partial scholarship of CGS or SGS, it covers through the whole uh, program duration one or some items of the full scholarship. That means some partial scholarship, maybe well, students will receive a waiver of tuition fees or we and waiver of comprehensive medical insurance. And sometimes they also have the chance to get a waiver of on-campus dorm fee. Uh, it will be, be decided later on the uh, during the admission period. So students will find it on the uh, admission notice, the official uh, documents we issue to the students. So that's all about the entrance scholarships. So why we uh, have the scholarship information in the first, because we, we found that there are so many students uh, concerned this so much. So after we have the, we, uh, our introduction to the scholarships, now let's took a, a take a look at Donghua University and see if there is any academic areas you plan to go further here at Donghua University. So Donghua University located in Shanghai. Its status as a global financial hub extends to its academic sphere, featuring world-class universities and offering cutting-edge programs that foster innovation and research. The city's vibrant cultural scene, historic landmarks, and diverse culinary experience provide an enriching environment uh, to immerse people in a blend of tradition and mod modern. So Shanghai's global uh, connectivity and economic significance create promising career prospects for graduates, making it an attractive destination for those seeking both academic excellence and professional growth. Donghua University was founded in 1951 it is one of 75 universities directly under the Ministry of Education of China. It is a national double first class construction university with textiles, engineering, material science, and art design as its best disciplines. It has more than 
2,200 faculty members and nearly 25,000 degree students. In the year of uh, 2023, there are nearly 1,800 international students from 112 countries. International students can apply for undergraduate and postgraduate studies or long-term and short-term Chinese language studies. Now the university has established cooperation and collaboration with more than 150 partner universities and institutions abroad. Donghua University has two campuses. What you see now is the downtown campus, we call it Yanan Road Campus. Two words can describe this campus. One is center. It means the campus locates in the heart of the city of Shanghai. The other word is fashion. The fashion atmosphere of this campus is quite unique even in the country because the program such as fashion, design, fashion communication are here in this campus. There are five colleges located in Yanan Road campus. You can apply the business management related to postgraduate uh, programs or fashion, art design, journalism, and communication related postgraduate programs. Hey, this is Songjiang campus, four times larger than Yanan Road campus, located in the huge university town in the city suburbs with convenient transportation. Programs related to engineering, science, and technology are here in this campus. With top-of-the-line facilities, it is no doubt that the campus environment and learning atmosphere are very good. There are uh, more than a dozen of colleges and research centers located in Songjiang campus. From the names of the colleges or schools here, you can find out what academic fields offered for students to engage in. The Zhonghua University has two double first class disciplines, textile science and engineering and material science and engineering. The strength of these two disciplines is the best, especially textile science and engineering. We are proud of that because it ranks number one in the world. So what you are looking for is related to textile science and engineering and material science and engineering, especially among those programs listed here, just choose Donghua University. Here are the most popular doctoral programs among the international students, including uh, biological material science, uh, control science and engineering, information and communication intelligence system, chemistry, textile chemistry and dyeing and finishing engineering, environmental science and engineering, civil engineering, uh, new energy materials and devices, enterprises information system and engineering, business administration. So uh, by scanning the QR code here, you can find more uh, programs information. And on these slides, we listed all the English taught master's program. All of them are supported by entrance scholarships and the majority of academic application each year are also focused on these English taught master's programs. By scanning the QR code or visit our website, you will find very detailed information of each program, including the research area, main courses, thesis requirement, and the supervisor's introduction. So now uh, I will invite Ms. Uh, Sylvia to share more about the application we will use our official website. By doing so, you will also know how to find the information you need in the future. Hello, everyone. This is Sylvia. Um, thanks for Ms. Francis' explanation on the policy and introduction about the entrance scholarships. 
And now I will show you about how to find the detailed application guidance about applying for the scholarships. So if you searching our official email, uh, website address, english.dhu.edu.cn in your uh, browser, you can access our English website by finding international students admissions on the navigation bar. You can clearly see the programs according to different levels. So today I will use doctoral programs as an example. So firstly, you need to check what kind of programs we offer. So by clicking doctoral programs, you can find the information. So here we list all the doctoral programs we offer, including the colleges and schools the major is offered, the specific major name, the teaching language. Please note that uh, the majority of our doctoral programs can be taught in both Chinese and English. Also, we can find the information such as study duration, campus, scholarship availability, age limit, application deadline, tuition fee, and application fee information based on this form. And you can also download the form by clicking here to save it as a PDF file on your own. However, there's something more I want to remind you is you are highly suggested to check the Excel file here to see the specific research directions because the majors we listed here are some general names and you, you may not know uh, what kind of research direction under the major. So let's see it together. If you download this Excel file, you can find uh, the information. You will need to use translation software to understand those are in Chinese. And um, so basically you can find um, the major and the research field. Also, we provide you the official website of that department. By visiting those websites, you can get access to the faculty information. So I will also show you. For example, if you check checking the official website of our College of Textile, and you can find the uh, faculty information here. It shows the professor's name, their contact uh, email, and their educational and working experience, as well as their uh, research achievement, maybe some publications. So by checking those information, you will find the supervisor that have the research direction that meets your own research direction. And in that case, you can contact those supervisor to ask for a supervision intention letter, which I will tell you later. So that's the first thing, to check the program that we offer to see if it meets your interest and if you are eligible to apply. So if you have determined a major and want to submit the application, how to do it? By checking the website, you can find very detailed application guidance. So here, if you check the guidance, it will clearly show the information such as application deadline. And we require you to first check your own eligibility by reading the conditions here. So basically, there are two things you need to pay attention to. First thing is age limit. 
And second thing is our requirement on the educational background. To apply for a doctoral programs, you must have a master's degree or equivalent. And logically, if you are applying to a master's program, then you need to have a bachelor's degree or equivalent. Here, we also list the language proficiency requirement, which I will talk later in the documents that need to be submitted. To submit the application, you can easily use our online application portal. So all the documents is submitted in soft copies. You don't need to uh, post the hard copy to us. The application website shown here as admissions.dhu.edu.cn. You need to register an account and fill in all the information, upload the required uh, documents. So I will go through the documents with you one by one. And um, so first document you need to submit online is the ID photo. Okay, so it's not listed uh, in the following content. And, and I want to show, uh, remind you about this document, which my colleague, Ms. Vimo, will share a sample in the chat room so that you can see. Because we ask for a bareheaded front photo of you. Uh, sometimes we found students feel difficulty in upload this document because some may upload the photo of their ID card, but actually we're asking for an ID photo of you. You can now see the sample as shown in the chat box. Okay, so um, to apply for the programs, you must have a valid passport. This means the validity on your passport needs to be at least six months. If you don't have a passport yet, or if you are going to renew your passport soon, we don't suggest you to make the online application now. So you can do it after you get the passport ready. If you have ever been to China or currently in China, then you also need to upload pages related to your Chinese visa. Uh, as for the diploma and transcripts, please pay attention to our requirement. To apply for the uh, doctoral programs, you need to submit both the diploma and transcripts of your bachelor's and master's study. And the documents must be issued by the official institution with stamps or handwritten signature. So please note that you cannot upload an electronic uh, version that download from, for example, the university system. If there's no stamps, no uh, signature on it, then the document will be invalid. If you are currently in the final year of the study, it is okay for you to submit a pre-graduation certificate and the current trans transcripts you have. This means uh, you don't need to wait till get the final diploma at the application status. Instead, by providing a pre-graduation certificate which states the estimated date that you can get the diploma, it is acceptable. Another case is that if in your country you only have the provisional diploma, it is okay, uh, it is also acceptable. But we remind that upon the enrollment, you will need to submit official one. As for the language requirement, please note that for, in, for Chinese taught programs, you must submit HSK 5. And uh, for English taught programs, we accept else or TOEFL. The score is listed here. There are, there are a situation that the above 
certificate can be waived. That is, if your previous academic study is fully taught in that language, then a teaching medium certificate or a medium of instruction can be submitted instead. For example, if you are applying to your English taught programs, but you don't have else or TOEFL. However, if your previous study is taught in fully English, then you can ask your university to issue a teaching medium certificate to prove all the courses is done in English. In that case, you can be waived from the English taught uh, English language proficiency certificate. Another document you need to submit is the CV. So we remind that to include all your educational and working experience in the CV up to date. And the gaps between each experience cannot exceed three months. There's no specific uh, sample for the CV. However, we highly suggest you to write your experience with a clear timeline and duration in format of months and year. For example, from 2012 uh, September to 2016 June, you are studying in uh, what university? In this format, we will be easily understand your experience. A research proposal is another key document for applying for a postgraduate programs. Please be aware that you cannot simply upload a, a personal statement or a study plan. This is a more academic document. You need to uh, include your research topic and methodologies uh, also, sometimes including literature review, something like that. There is also no specific uh, template for the research proposal content. However, we remind you to apply for the doctoral programs. There is indeed a template cover that you need to use. So I will show you the cover. So that is how the uh, cover of research proposal of applying for doctoral programs at Donghua University looks like. You need to fill in the information and find uh, a, a supervisor to sign it. This will help you, especially when you are applying for the uh, Chinese government scholarship high level postgraduate programs. So you can download this template on your own, attach it to your research proposal. So uh, let's go back to the other documents that's needed. We require each applicant to provide two recommendation letters from different persons. It is suggested to be one from your universities. The other one can be from your uh, current company. They should know about your experience, your uh, competence, and your characters that to provide the recommendation letter to you. Uh, in the recommendation letters, it should include the person's uh, contact information, and it should include the handwritten signature, as well as the date of uh, signature. To apply for a postgraduate program, a supervision intention letter is highly suggested to be submitted, but please be aware that it is not mandatory because we have received inquiries such as 
I failed to contact supervisor. Should I give up my application? The answer is no. To uh, submit the supervision intention letter will highly increase your competitiveness. However, if you have tried hard but still cannot find a supervisor, it is still okay for you to submit an application. By clicking the link here, we provide you some tips on contacting supervisors. So as shown before, you can check the programs we offer and go to the specific website of each department to find faculty information. If you find some uh, professors that suits your research interests, then you can send emails to contact those professors with uh, guidance that we provide here. We suggest you to provide supporting documents to prove your uh, competence that include, but not limited to, your educational diploma and transcripts, your CV, uh, your published articles, your research proposal, and other documents. If the supervisor is intended to accept you, they can sign the supervision intention letter for you and you can use this document as one of the supporting application materials and upload it in the DHU application system. And the rest documents, uh, we, we want to make some clarification on it. First one is the certificate of no criminal conviction. This document needs to be issued by the authority within six months. And I understand that in some country on your non-criminal uh, report, there should be a QR code that can verify the document. If the, uh, if the uh, International Student Office scan the QR code and fail to uh, verify the document, then the document will be regarded as invalid. So we suggest you, if possible, find the police station or the authority to stamp on it. Uh, statement of financial support, this document, uh, we don't ask you for bank statement. We ask you to fill in a form, which you can find the template on the website. Some people don't understand why they are applying for scholarships while they still need to submit this document. Actually, each, document, uh, each applicant needs to submit this document because you need to acknowledge that you are able to bear the expenses even if you get the scholarship, because sometimes there will be expense that beyond the scholarship coverage. So it's quite simple. Just download the template and sign it with handwritten signature of the sponsor. If you are applying for scholarships, then you also need to fill in the Chinese government scholarship and Shanghai government scholarship application. So we remind you that recently the Shanghai Government Scholarship website is under maintain and we still don't know when it will recover. But it is okay for you to first submit Donghua University application in the portal. And later, if the website recovers, you can then uh, complete their application and sign, uh, send us the application form via email. The health check report needs to be submitted for scholarship applicants. You need to submit a health check report uh, under the template as shown on our website. The health check needs to be done within six months. And we remind you that 
On the photo here, there must be a stamp from the hospital. And all the blanks need to be filled in. Here, for the suggestion, there must be some content uh, commented by the hospital. And please do remind the doctor to sign here with the date and official stamp. If you have some specific checking items, results, such as x-ray results, blood test results, you can also attach it together. So basically, that's all the documents you need for applying for a doctoral programs. If you are applying for master's programs, uh, you can also find the, gui the guidance accordingly and the content is basically the same. So I will not repeat uh, to illustrate it. So here on screen, we shared our social media contact. You can scan the QR code on the left side to follow our official WeChat account. And if you are using other social media platforms, such as Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, you can also save this screen uh, and you can find our account information by scanning the QR code. So we remind you to uh, note down our official website address english.dhu.edu.cn to find any updated information and detailed guidance. Also, should you have any questions, you can reach us by the email address iso at dhu.edu.cn. Okay, thanks for your time. We hope today's webinar is informative to you and we hope to see your application in the near future. Thanks again and bye-bye.